Hey guys! How are you doing today? In case you don't know me, my name is Witchy Cupcake and welcome to the Cupcake Coven! So, how is your day going? <laughs> I'm doing quite well, it's been a pretty chill day. It's been really nice because the Muffin Wizard is home these days, so We've got to, uh, we've gotten to spend some time together. So, today we will be continuing our costume quest. And, um, basically last time we went through the creepy mall and we, um, like, beat the whole mall, which is a really, really fun part. And now we've arrived at a village. And so that's, uh, that's what we're gonna be doing. Okay, here we are. I like this right-hand side better now. <laughs> so, you know what I, I just realized looking at the, the picture here of the little kids? The shield for this one is a trash can lid. Isn't that cute? And the, like, skates are, for this one, are just those sneakers that have uh, wheels. So I thought that's really cool how they, like, do those little details of what a costume would actually be, which is not necessarily something very fancy and, you know, put together. It's just like DIY kind of thing. <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was cute. Okay, let's begin. Continue game here and we're going to costume quest slot one. So this is the town that we're at now, but they actually took our costumes from us. So we need to um, find, I think they said something like, find another costume that will help us recover our costumes that were stolen. Oh, and we're actually walking this way, so I will put myself on the other side. It's kind of complicated because I don't want to block the vision for you guys. But sometimes I forget, so if that happens, let me know. Oh, wait, 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 I need my, my headphone, otherwise I'm missing out on the whole experience with the, with the sound. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, as always, going around vandalizing some stuff in order to uh, gain candy and points. Oh yeah, we did get a new candy bag, you guys can see it there on the bottom. It's a bigger, like, what is it? Is it a tote bag? I don't remember. First we had like a little paper bag, then we had... Do we have a tote afterwards? Hmm. They are carrying like little jack-o'-lanterns, so I think that is the evolved version of it. Look at this barn, it's so cool. Muffin Wizard said, it's terrible. Oh sorry, I missed it. What? What is terrible? Okay, so... Oh, look at that. It's a burning man. This is a music festival. Let's see what these uh, crows are saying, because I forgot. Beat it, kids. We're taking a break. Wait, I, I didn't do a proper crow voice. Is that human waving at us? Beat it, kids. We're taking a break. <laughs> Let me know if you like that voice. <laughs> Oh, I found a kid! You found me! I'm playing hide and seek with my friends. Wanna play? Oh, guys, I'm so sorry. The chat on this side had kinda got stuck. So over here it says, Muffin Winter said, It's huge, that's all I know regarding the, the, the bag of candy. And it's almost full. Sorry, the keyboard is terrible and the candy bag is huge and full. Yes, yes. Thank you, Muffin Wizard. <laughs> If you find all six of us, you get a prize. So we have added the quest Hide and Seek. Okay, so on every level, like we kind of mentioned last time, it seems like the quests kind of repeat themselves, although they're a little bit different sometimes. Okay, what it do? Does this like Burning Man say anything to us? No. Hmm. Ooh, bridge. <gasps> ah, okay, we opened a. Uh, passage here. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. You know what? The more I see this game, the more I like it because 
Well, first of all, I think the graphics are pretty cool. Uh, I know that they're like cutesy and simple, but they're also like realistic. I see a kid hiding. Ah, ah, two! Ah, you found me! Darn hay fever! <laughs> we found two out of six kids. Ooh, there's a safe spot here. Are the police going to come take care of these monsters? Uh, yeah, yeah, kid, your report has been logged. <laughs> okay, so we are saving the game. And now we can go and talk to this carnival. Oh, oh my gosh, there's an actual carnival back here. I'm so excited. I love carnivals. Happy Halloween and welcome to the Fall Valley Carnival. Admission is $5 if you're wearing a costume. How much is it if we aren't wearing a costume? Well, the rules of the carnival state that you have to wear a costume to get in, so I'm going to say that tickets without a costume cost a million dollars. How about that? Catch me outside, how about that? Yikes, we don't even have five dollars. Let's go figure out how we can get in here. <laughs> oh, poor kids. They must feel terrible. So I'm thinking that is going to be the next stage after this. So I'm really excited. So first we're probably going to go through the town, the village, and then we eventually get into the carnival. Muffin Wizard said, that hay fever thing is totally a mood. <laughs> yeah, allergies, right? Hey brah, I got sticky stuff all over my street shoes creepy treat card. I need another one. I've got some rare ones to trade. They aren't sticky. I don't have an extra one on me, but you'll be the first to know when I do. It's cool, no pressure. <laughs> no pressure, dude. Hey bruh. Bruh. Aha, I see a kid hiding. Oh, we don't get to hit this back. Okay, there it is. <laughs> ah! You cursed brat, look what you've done. Oh, what a world, what a world. <laughs> that was rude. Cursed brat, like, who are you talking to? Who do you think you're talking to? Also, who's the brat? Ah, I got stuck. Oh, nice, okay. So, oh, sorry. I'm getting a little stuck here and there. Ancient mummy sounds. Wait, what sounds do mummies make? I, I'm not quite sure. Let's go over here and break these. Oh, do mummies go like oh, oh like that? Kind of, kind of deadly, I guess. Ooh, look at all these mailboxes. Vandalism at its finest. Oh, until they open the... Oh no, they open and then they close, I guess. <laughs> Muffin Rose said, those sounds, I guess. Yeah, I think that's it. Jamie said, mommies just point and grunt. Yeah, they're like... <laughs> Here we go. Some more candy. Oh. Can we hit these lamps? No, we cannot. Okay, let's go talk to this guy who has a, like, fast food uh, hat on, I want to say. Hey there, little ones. Would you like to buy some of my delicious fries? Your fries smell great, but we're too busy looking for Halloween costumes right now. Really? I do have a French fry costume I bought to promote my fry stand, but it's too small for me. Perfect. We'll take three costumes, please. Well, I only have one, but I'll lend it to you. If you bring me... Three new customers, I'll let you have it. Plus, I'll throw in tickets to the carnival. Ooh, sounds like a great deal to me. <laughs> Jamie said, Harry Potter nerd Jamie riff ripped off Harry Potter and got the G-O-F and nobody noticed. Wait, what's G-O-F? Sorry, I, I'm not super, super knowledgeable. Uh, oh, oh my gosh, the guy's name is Chip. Are you kidding? <laughs> Chip, the guy who sells chips, he said, Here, put this fry costume on and use its delicious smelling lure ability to bring back costumes to my stand. Help me be a winner for once in my petty fogging life. Oh no, that's so sad. Oh, Jamie said, Goblet of Fire. Okay. 
Nerd Jamie ripped off Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and nobody noticed. Oh, okay. So that phrase that you said, mummies just point and grunt, is from the Goblet of Fire? Let me know. Goblet of Fire, by the way, was one of my favorite, um, my favorite books. Oh, look at this fr <laughs> French fry costume. It's so funny. Uh, let's see what the power is. Oh my gosh, it's the fry smell. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that is terrible. Jamie said, Fred and George in the book say something like, it's easy to sound like a troll, just point and grunt. Oh, yes, yes, I do remember that. Nice. Jamie knows all the, all the phrases and stuff, all the sayings from Harry Potter. Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Here we go. Guys, look how nice looking this, like, German Germanic like style houses. Isn't that nice? I already love this town. Oh, here's Mr. Scarecrow. Oh no, it's not him. These are just decorations. Okay, so this like the city just continues over here. So let's I assume that we should go and start trick-or-treating, right? Look at that ornate door. Isn't that cute? <laughs> uh, muffin Wizard said, Fry smell? Amazing, yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, the Muffin Wizard and I, we like to go on little drives to look at pretty houses that are around here. Cause, you know, one day we'd like to have a pretty house. And, uh, like, we were talking about what kind of uh, houses we'd like, like construction-wise, decoration-wise. This is definitely a style that we really like, with like the, you know, the like, beams in, in wood and like the the metal ironwork on the doors. So yeah. If there's a monster behind that door and Lucy and I aren't wearing costumes, we're pumpkin paste. Oh. Wait, so we're not supposed to We're not supposed to um knock on doors? What do you guys think? Does it mean that at least for now, we should knock on doors. Have we missed any um, piles of leaves like that? I don't think so, but we'll we'll see. I mean, eventually, I guess I'll go back, so it's fine. Oh! Ooh, look at all of these people in the town. Muffin Rosa said, yeah, I think that is what that means. Okay. Jamie said, I found a house for sale here yesterday. Yesterday night, that was totally me. It was very vintage style, and the kitchen was so adorable, and I wish that I had the money for a down payment because I would so do that. Oh my gosh, yes, that would be amazing. Man, getting a house is so difficult. Why is it so difficult? Like, it should be something that humans have the right to almost you know even if it's just like a t the tiniest house um yeah i hope you guys can uh, apply soon for a house as well we i think maybe next year we'll start looking for one but it depends on a lot of things so far we have no savings so it's gonna be a little bit difficult <laughs> Um, oh, what was I going to say? Forget. Look at this fountain. Okay, so this girl has a chicken on her uh, head. Let's see why. I want to eat some french fries! <laughs> well, how about this girl? Woohoo! Let's go get some french fries! So I think she got inspired to, to go get french fries. Wait, if we... Does she have to, like, go with us? No. I, I'm assuming later she'll go get the french fries. Banana man! Jamie said, this was a small, like, two bedroom, one bathroom, small house. It's my personal goal to move a sub. Oh my gosh, you guys totally need to move with your crazy, crazy neighbor. I'm so sorry you guys are going through that. Like, it's funny you were saying yesterday that you, you're feeling like a little jumpy and stuff. 100% understand, like, that is still happening to me and my situation with the crazy neighbor in the last house was for a very uh, short period compared to like what you guys have been through. So I can't even imagine like all the straight up like PTSD that one gets from that because it is PTSD. 
And like, yeah, it's very, very difficult. We, we did have other situations with like neighbors being disrespectful before, but none where they were insane and attacked us. So yeah, uh, it's very, very complicated. This is an actual banana. My pa grew in on our farm. <laughs> Ew, can you imagine how disgusting that would be? An actual banana? Let's see what else we got here. Here's another house. We're gonna beat those up. Oh, these are like those, um, those kind of doors that go underneath, right? For like a uh, tornado. Uh, shelters and stuff like that. Oh, you can get up on here. Okay. Yeah, and I think uh, a two bedroom, one bathroom would be really good. People don't really need too big of a place, I guess. Um, we lived in a two bedroom, one bathroom for the last like four years. And then now we're in a two bedroom, two bathroom. We're very, very uh, grateful for that. You got 20 pieces of candy. Jamie said, yeah, I'm so tired of it. We're trying hard to get out of here so that we can start working on it. I could potentially handle moving in on December 1st if I do things right. That would be awesome. I'm 100% rooting for you. Jamie said, honestly, I'm happy for a one bedroom, one bath. But if we can get a two, we'll do it. Yeah, even a one bedroom, exactly. That still works to get you out of that situation. All you need is some place to have your things, sleep there, you know, because for most part of the day, you're, you guys are all working outside and stuff. And I, like, I would 100% be okay with, like, um, a studio even for myself. Of course, I'd have to get rid of more things, but I need to declutter anyways. But, yeah. Like the kid in the 600 dollar banana costume is going to follow the kid in the $20 costume. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's sad. He's costume shaming himself. Okay, nothing here. Uh, there's a, a wall there. <laughs> Sorry, kid. I accidentally hit you. I was trying to get those balloons. Yeah, okay, let's talk to this kid. My brother told me there was a french fry stand around here, but I don't see it anywhere. Dude. It's like someone just grabbed my nose and is pulling me in your direction. Lead the way. Oh, okay. So I need to, like, use the power to lead them all the way there. And I will in a bit. I just want to make sure I get everything first. Oh, it's Sadie with the battle stamps. Check out... Uh, I don't know, she's selling battle stamps. Sadie, how'd you get out here in the country? My dad dropped me off. He's so excited, he thinks I'm camping with you guys. Oh, nice, did he give you any s'mores? No, but I do have some more battle stamps. Uh, ba -dum <laughs> okay, so the only reason why I want to check this uh, right now is because I want to see how much money, not money, uh, candy we need. So we need a thousand dollars for the first two and then plus almost a thousand for the other one. So we need slightly under two thousand, which wait, we might have. Um, let's see, it's minus fifty, so we need actually we need one thousand nine hundred and fifty, so we have enough right now. <laughs> Muffin Wizard said, I seriously respect this girl's hustle. Yes. <laughs> so I think since we already have the money. I'm just gonna go ahead and buy all of them because, you know, why not? <laughs> and we do already have this one and this one. Mm, do we have this one? I'm not sure. It says flying tombstone greatly increases HP. Albino black cat. Oh, so white cat <laughs> adds greater something of dodging greater chances of dodging enemy attacks. Okay, good. Thank you, Sadie. Respect. Okay. So here are our three people with their stamps. I'm, I'm just going to leave them for now. Okay, and I said I was going to just make sure I got all the, all the candy before moving on. 
I smell the faint aroma of deep fried bliss. Any idea where it's coming from? Yes, girl. We will get you to the fry stand as well. Coffin! Woo! You got 100 pieces of candy. Okay. Let, uh, help me see if there's any like piles of leaves or anything that we've forgotten to uh, to hit. So far I don't see anything. I did want to come all the way back here because I wasn't paying attention much before. Oh look, there's like candy back here. You see it glowing on the floor there? Okay, come this way. Don't see any piles of of anything there so far. We've done that one, I remember. And here past the bridge. Ah, there are the crows. Are they crows or ravens? Don't really know. Did we do this uh, mailbox? No, we didn't. Look. Okay. Good. So it looks like we've done all of that. So now I can, with more peace of mind, go and do the task of bringing all the kids over to the fry stand. So let's walk over there. Woo! Hello, Mr. Fryman. Uh, Mr. Chip. <laughs> okay, so let's take this girl with us. Let's go get some french fries. Oh my gosh, look, she has like crazy dazed eyes. She's in the trance. Okay, here's your fries. I'm gonna eat french fries till I puke. Oh my gosh, no! That is not a healthy thing to do. Do not do that, kids. Eat until you're full, or sometimes they say eat until you're before you're completely full because it takes a while for you to feel the sensation of being satiated, I guess? At least that's what I heard. And so sometimes you think you're still hungry, but if you wait a little bit more, then you'll, then you'll realize you're not. Oh, red French fries! We have lured two out of three customers. <laughs> Lured them with french fry smell. What is the funniest or craziest costume you guys have ever seen? Let's lure this one. Doesn't necessarily need to be in person. Maybe you've seen it like a picture online or something like that. I think it's really funny when people uh, dress up like as an ID card or something and so their face is like sticking out of the picture hole, you know? Three out of three customers. I don't remember his voice, but I'm a winner now, a winner! Here, take these tickets. Good luck finding your costumes. You kids are the best. Woohoo! Good job, uh, kids and Chip and everyone. Let's go get our costumes back from these monsters. You now have tickets to the Fall Valley Carnival. Yes. Oh, this is where the fry stand is? Awesome. Oh, rad, french fries. <laughs> and yeah, that crazy girl, okay. So I, uh, I don't know, I wanna see if we knock again, what's gonna happen. No, they, they do need their costumes first. So I believe with that we have completed this part, at least what we could do so far. Therefore, we should just go to the carnival, right? Just once again, kind of going around and, and taking a look, seeing if everything is good. We can't do anything here, right? Ooh, is that a boat? I feel like that's a boat. Might be a later stage. Which would be really exciting. The Muffin Wizard said, I once saw a person at a convention who was dressed as Link and had a perfect set of Master Sword and Hillian Shield that were made completely out of paper. That is amazing. That is really, really cool. Let me put myself on the other side here. Whoop. 
Maybe it's like an auto mod thing. But don't worry about it. By the way, if auto mod does ever like catch the messages, like you guys' messages, it doesn't get you in trouble at all. It just uh, waits for me to allow it manually, so yeah, it's kind of to avoid potential trolls and stuff. So don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, now we can go to the carnival. Oh, you know what? Let's save, because I feel like we've done a lot here. We have saved. I'm wearing a costume now. What? You're just going to abandon your friends here while you go have fun in the carnival? Some friend you are. Ugh. Uh. So, I'm guessing, obviously, we need to do something else. So, I might go back to the town and just see... Um... So we can't get through here, anything like that. And just see if maybe we can knock at the other doors. Because I'm not seeing anywhere else to go from here. Oh, guys, look at the background there. Wait, can we go back here? Oh, just a little bit. Hmm. Oh, wait! They have, they have, uh, like, the chicken stuff on them, which means we need to lure them. Give us our costumes back! You can have them back after we throw them in that bonfire. What about this one? Repeat it, kids. We're taking a break. Not repeat. Beat it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Beat it. Beat it. <gasps> Food. Quick, lure them to the barn. To the barn? <gasps> We're trapping them. Uh-oh. over here look walking food haha <laughs> we have trapped them eh. oh and now we can get to that coffin great you got your costumes back yes good job guys <laughs> muffin wizard are you there I'm just wondering, because I knew you had a few things you needed to do. This completes me! <laughs> we got our costumes and our tickets! Now that jerk in the admissions booth has no reason to keep us out! Perfect! He said, I am here! Yay costumes, yay! Let's get some hype in the chat, Muffin Wizard, for the costumes! <laughs> Actually, I want to change their costumes, because... Um, which one do we do? This one. Okay, because we have not even tried out the the unicorn costume. Wait, no. Oh, we didn't complete the unicorn costume. That's it. We just got some materials. <laughs> Yay, Muffin Wizard. Thanks for the hype. <laughs> okay, so I do want to be wearing the ninja one because that's the most recent one we got. Wait, she's wearing the fry costume. And this, uh, this guy, Everett, can wear the, the ninja one. And then Lucy can wear the space guy one. Those are the most recent ones. Woot woot! Okay. Once again, I'm just gonna save real quick. Ta-da! Ready, guys? Are you ready to go to the carnival? And since we're walking that way, I move myself this way. <laughs> oh, excuse me. <clears throat> Forgot to bring a water in here. We all have costumes and tickets now. May I come in? There, that wasn't so hard, was it? Oh, by the way, the Ferris wheel is broken. Take this consolation costume pattern before I change my mind. Have fun at the carnival. You got the vampire costume pattern. Ooh, nice. Muffin Wizard said, I'll bring you a water. Ah, thank you so much. I wonder what the fire costume is doing. Is going to be like in battle. Yes! Oh my gosh, can you imagine if he just like throws fries at them or something? Ah! We got in. And here you are. Who are you? I am many things. A helpful cat, a mysterious scarecrow. <gasps> 
but in my truest form, I am simply Dorian, humble mystic and brother of Dorsilla the Witch. Plot twist. <laughs> you, Dorsilla's brother, you've been helping us all along? My sister's fallen into a bad crowd. She needs to be brought to her senses, but I can't be the one to do it. Why? Because she's really mean, and I'm totally afraid of her. But I can help you do it. Get to the top of the Ferris wheel. There you will find the path. But hurry, you're running out of time, time, time. Quest added. All fair, that's end fair. That ends fair. Cool, look at this crystal ball. I can't do anything with it, but... You know what's funny? I had actually theorized and suspected that this cat and this scarecrow were the same uh, person or like spirit or something uh, because they were just like randomly helping us, so I was right about that. And... Oh, wait, here comes my water. <laughs> Thanks, Muffin Wizard! Thank you so much. I forgot to bring this in. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> that helps a little bit. So, let's continue. Uh, what I was saying is that, like, I feel like it's really cool that this game... You guys can see the theme, right? It's talking about being a sibling and like what that means and stuff. And so we have the relationship between the twins, you know, Ren and Reynold, which is funny because they're both like Ren if you think about it. <laughs> um, but you also have like this other situation now where these like brother witches are, I guess, not getting along or something. And then I feel like you have also where the team who is on the quest together is also almost like a family. So yeah, I think it's exploring like all the different kinds of uh, sibling dynamics. Oh, I don't know if we should go here yet, should we? Cheek or treat! Guys, get ready to battle. Oh, hello, welcome to Fall Valley Fair? Fall Valley. Okay, we got some candy, yay! So now I guess we go trick-or-treating in these tents, which is awesome. Oh, I see a hiding kid. For your information, the female pirates were the most ruthless. I mean, probably, yeah. Just like the... Oh, pfft, sorry. How dare you hit a lady! <laughs> My bad. Um... Just like ninjas, the Kunoichis, which are the female ninjas, were completely ruthless. How do you find me? Do you have x-ray vision? We have found four out of six kids. <laughs> it won't go all the way up, so... Okay. I wonder if like we can get stronger and win at that game? Oh, pfft. Sorry guys, I was too far. Up here... You know what? We didn't go to this uh, first tent, so we shall... Trick or treat! Such fancy costumes! Are you kids from the city? <laughs> Aw, that was nice! He gave us a compliment! I can always appreciate a compliment. We've done these, yeah? Okay. So since we're here and this is Apple, dude, let's play an Apple game. Hey, what could be more comforting on a cold night than a face full of ice water? <laughs> uh, everything? Look, I'll just be honest, the Apple industry pays me to do this. And they're watching me right now, so can we get to it? <laughs> okay, ready for the game? Remember the green apples are worth two, the red apples are worth one, and you have to avoid eating the nasty ones. Oops. Or the ones that have already been eaten. There we go. Ew. Thick 
victory! Woohoo! We did it, guys. Thank goodness we're both safe, but not from candy! Because candy is a threat to humanity. No one is safe from candy. I mean, it actually is. Uh, it's bad for you. <laughs> How are the corporate overlords? Shh, you're going to get me fired. Or worse. Is there a apple industry mafia? I think there might be. Eat your apple. There we go. Hey, an apple a day. Shoot. I'm glad I almost ate the nasty one. Woohoo! We're getting better and better at this. <laughs> Muffin Wizard said, This guy is such a hypocrite. Oh my gosh, he 100% is. More apple means more candy! Are you sure you don't work for the candy industry? You mean you don't realize they're all the same company? <gasps> you got 50 pieces of candy! Yay! Oh man, I've said too much. <laughs> Let's play one more time. Okay, ready? Go! Ah, shoot! Okay, I probably lost this one, so I'm gonna have to play again, because I couldn't have missed any, you know what I mean? Yeah. Sorry! I failed. But it's okay. I mean, we're still gonna work on it, right? Who knows if... Oh, nope. Not quite, not quite. <laughs> My four said, see? He's such a liar! 100%! You are trying to get me fired! Ugh! <laughs> Let's try once again. Oh shoot. Yeah, sometimes my keyboard doesn't work that well either. Sorry, I'm like really focused right now. Ah shoot. Damn it, that's disgusting. Don't eat that. Like spit it out, spit it out. Girl. Yeah, yeah, you can keep going, remember? Oh, one more! We needed one more! Jamie said, failure is just an opportunity for improvement. Very good, Jamie, I agree. <laughs> Even just random bobbing would have been better than that. Are you kidding? I was one point away! Why is he dissing me like that? He's just salty. Okay. Let's try again. I'm gonna try really to focus on getting green ones. Focusing our strategy on the green ones. Unbelievable! You've won the ultimate prize! You got the sugar ba bucket creepy treat card. Now you work for them too. Who? Exactly. <laughs> this game is so funny. Okay, so it saved and I feel like it, this might be the card that that kid was asking for. So let's go back and, and see if it is. Where was that kid? Was he here in the beginning or in the town? No, he was in the town, right? That, there he is. No one sneaks past a uh, what? A croc- Oh man, I couldn't read it even in the repeat here. Oh my gosh, the french fries are terrifying! <laughs> no, I- ah! 
I do not like that. <sighs> if you guys haven't noticed, I am uh, quite the arachnophobe, so... <laughs> okay, let's get ready for battle. The girls want a battle. Salt assault and basic attack. Oh, also we need to choose uh, who we're doing, who we're attacking first. I think we're gonna do the Magus. Jeez, that's terrifying. E. Oh, look at the carnival in the background in the town. It looks so cool. Q. Shift. Ah. Oh. Sure, I didn't do it in time. Um. Yeah. Let's get the crest whaler. That that was what their name was. Muffmore said, "God damn it! No more monsters." Yeah. Um. So, uh, I, <laughs> I don't know if I should say this, I am so arachnophobic that I don't call spiders by their name, I call them monsters, because that's how much I hate them, but yeah. Don't make fun of me. Yeah, wham! E. Meteor attack! Oh good, we got rid of that one. Shift now. Oh shoot, Lucy dead! Salt assault! Jesus! Salt is as dangerous as sugar. Wait, select a party member for what? Okay, let's just select... Oh, for the, sh the Kitsune Shroud, right? Okay, oh, that's not terrifying. Uh, freaking French fry arachnid in a black shroud. I'm gonna kind of think he's more like a crab, but still. For my own sake. Jamie said, nothing wrong with calling creepy crawlies what they are, especially when they invade your living space. Ah, uh, yeah, you had one the other day, right? No, yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't. <laughs> oh, shoot! <laughs> the computer, uh, freaked out. Sticky keys lets you shift- oh, because it had me, uh, press shift several times. Disable... What, do you want to turn sticky- on sticky keys? No, I don't think so. Shoot, are we dead now? Oh, we won! Without, without even realizing it. <laughs> okay. Let's go and uh, give this guy the card. I still haven't found a street choose creepy treat card replacement in case you were wondering. I don't have an extra one on me, but you'll be the first one to know when I do. It's cool, no fresh. Okay, so I guess that wasn't the card he asked for. Do you guys remember if it was uh, someone else's card? And if I am being completely truthful to myself, I will change that costume because it did uh, upset me a little bit. So, you know what? I really want Lady Liberty again. Wait, is that her name? I forget. Uh, because she has the healing power that is really, really helpful. So, <laughs> we've changed back into that. Thank you guys for your french fry costume. It did serve a purpose. But, uh, yeah, I'm done with that. <laughs> okay. Let's go over here. What is going on? <gasps> no! Look at what they're doing!